Hello and welcome everyone. I hope you're all well. This is Ragnarok here with episode number 21 of the High Elves Endgame Let's Play. Alright, last time we fought a really tough battle here at the Frozen City. Tyrion's army took a ton of damage but um, basically defeated uh, the garrison and uh, the full, full stack garrison and then Marathi's full stack as well so I mean we took on two stacks there but took a ton of damage probably definitely could have been fought better but still having trouble I, I don't know I find using the dragons a little bit tricky especially with that many dragons that many nobles like all all flying units I find it really difficult to um, get control of the units and, and stuff like that but anyway take a little bit of time to get his army replenished and, and rebuild it. We lost our, our two sun dragons, our two token sun dragons, which is a little bit unfortunate, but oh well, what can you do? And then we defeated the uh, the Chaos army down here with, uh, with Rhea's army, so. Alright. Is there... Alright, yeah, that'll be helpful too, so I think we'll favorable winds don't think there's really anything else here for her yeah I think just favorable winds will be good and I guess dark in the skies might be useful as well to try it try that out see if that helps out a little bit anyway let's see if you can get in here treasure hunt is Tempting, but I think we'll just colonize. What would you have of me? And then I think we can safely Princess. disband this army. I don't think we really need them around at the moment. Save us a little bit of cash. And then you can get in Princess there, get a little bit of extra replenishment. Yeah, might as well start building here right away. Right. So we'll just come back here, retake this. Shouldn't be too much trouble for her at all. Probably, yeah. Just get some replenishment before we go over there, but yeah, we shouldn't have any trouble at all with that. Just concerned about this army where they're gonna land, and this army where they're gonna head because we don't really have anything over here. Mage of the White Tower, setting forth. To. Uh, I guess we could send some of these mages to um, to block army or something, but I don't know. Not a big deal. Down here, we're finally moving into the desert. We're sending Uhtred Crusade into the desert. I think things look pretty good. Take a look at the building browser if we're forgetting to build anywhere. It's okay. Public order could be a bit of an issue in some of these places. Probably should turn public order or the taxes off here, but I don't think it's going to make too much of a difference. A science skill point. Which mage is this? Oh, okay. Their skill is legend. Just way down in the desert, or in the jungle, rather. Seems like a waste of her uh, her abilities being way the fuck down here, but anyway, we'll keep her here for the time being. All right, the map is looking very, very good. I'd say we've got almost half of it, including our allies. That is. Servant of the Tower. Warden of Sapphire. Servant of the Tower. Alright, I think we're safe to end the turn. I don't think there's anything else for us to do. Lawmaster. We're staying put here. Um, I, I know I haven't um, confederated with these guys, but I kind of like the, uh, the sigil. <laughs> 
<laughs> and a uh, little bit of green on, on the map makes it a little bit different. Plus two, I mean, what, uh, what are we actually getting for trade from them? Well, it's only actually 3,000. I was going to say probably the trade income would be more than what we would get from their settlements, but that's probably probably incorrect. But anyway, I just I know we can confederate with them, but I'm just going to leave them there for now. All right, so we are almost through the Bride of Cain. Maybe we might even be able to finish it this episode, and then we can start going into um, we can possibly start getting into uh, Deathblade, Tale of Malice, Darkblade. But uh, yeah, let's let's just finish off uh, the Bride of Cain first. So, Talaris watched Helebron step out of the cauldron of blood. Her smooth alabaster pale flesh was as unmarked and perfect as the day Talaris had first seen her. The day Cain had first spoken to him and he had set, shed blood for the first time. In the wake of his divinely inspired acts of murder, she had named him her champion, and then she had taken him into to her bed. The sight of her took his breath away as much as it had the night a millennia ago. Of course, even when her prevailing aspect was that of Morheg, he still adored her as much as he feared her. But now, when she was freshly renewed, she was a goddess. Marathi could lay claim to being Hec Hecarty, as much as as she liked. To Talaris, Helebron was a Tharti, the Lady of Desire, made flesh. She walked slowly, lang languriously, down the steps towards him, crimson liquid dripping from her and pulling on the flagstones, flowing into cracks as it had this night every year for six millennia. Talaris had a sudden uneasy premonition that it would never do so again. Helebron stopped a hand's breadth from him and looked up, triumph and lust mingling in her eyes. My champion, she breathed. So many pleasures for us to experience together again. Yes, my lady, he replied, breathing in the scent of her body mixed with the iron tang of blood. And first among them, to kill by your side again, to watch you lick blood from the first drake. She laughed, and it sent a chill down the executioner's spine. Oh yes, my love. That and so much more, but first she moved quicker than Talaris's eye could follow, reaching to his belt and pulling his dagger from his sheath. In an instant, it was held to his throat. What did they offer you, Talaris? What did they offer you to kill me? My lady? She pressed the knife harder against his throat. He felt it break the skin, blood welling and running down the edge of the blade. We have always been honest with one another, Talaris, for all our many faults. We have always been honest. Don't change that now. They offered me the cult, my queen, and a place at Marathi's side, ruling over Nagaroth. She flashed, flashed him a feral grin and brought the dagger to her mouth, delicately licking the fluid from it. And yet I live. I was at your mercy and you spared me. Yes. Why? He looked into her eyes, and what he saw there was the most terrifying thing he had ever seen. Confusion. I did what my conscience told me to do, my queen. Your conscience? She said the word as if it were foreign and unfamiliar. Talaris, I find myself at a loss. For six thousand years you have stood by my side, and never did I expect to discover such a weakness in you. Weakness? You spared me when you could have had power and influence beyond any Druki's dreams. That is weakness. It is sickening. She turned away. My lady... She was trying to tell me something. Helebron knelt beside the third Dracorite's severed head. I would know what it was. She lifted the head and sauntered over the cauldron where she submerged it beneath the bubbling blood. After a few whispered incantations, she pulled it out, and it screamed. Ripping the head by the hair, Helebron slapped it hard, spun in a lazy arc, and teeth flew to the ground. It quieted, and its eyes focused on the headwind. What? What is happening? It squealed. Pain, so much pain. And that pain is but a fraction of what I can make you feel, said Helebron. I will pull your spirit back from Aerith Kial's clutches and inflicted such tortures upon you that you cannot imagine them. Tell me what you were going to do, and you might be spared that. I, I am a traitor to Marathi, the head said. 
I came to warn you. She was seen. She has seen what it what is to come and the part you will play. She would see you dead before you can foul her plans. But her plans must fail, or we we will all be doomed. Speak clearly, wretch! Growled the High Queen. The Rana Dandra approaches. Doom is at hand, and gods walk the world once more. The one I killed in the street said the same, said Tolaris. Dreadbringer. The head tried to turn to face him. Hellebron tilted it in his direction. It was decaying rapidly, flesh slowing from the skull that looked pitied and worn. You will play a role, Herald of Cain. You will bring him into the world, though you will not live to see him. She paused. When the dark... When the blade of darkness is broken by what lies within, you will fall to the would-be king, and the lord of murder will rise anew. I am to die in Cain's service? That matters not, interrupted Hellebron. What else, sorceress? All right, we'll finish this last bit in the next end turn, and uh, just get back into the uh, to the game there. Sorry to leave you guys there with like a little bit of a cliffhanger, I guess. All right, good. Bendel is back. It's good for sewing up public order if we need uh, need him in a in a pinch. We can just put him wherever he's uh, wherever public order is about to uh, cause a rebellion. All right, we've got the earth blood, and we've got the spare leech. Let's give you. I guess we'll, we'll load you up with this stuff too. Yeah, this army is going to be in bad shape by the time it gets over there, but that's not the end of the world. We should be careful to uh, keep our distance from these chaos armies as well, but it doesn't look like they're going over there towards where we're headed. Seeing as it's already already been raised anyway. I'll just give you that. It's unlikely that you'll ever see combat I mean it's possible where where are you guys headed if you wish. oh shit maybe they're actually tracking this army down <laughs> I'd be crazy if they were be a little bit annoyed if these guys come back around this way you guys are a long way from home interesting all right where did that army that was up here end up? No. All right, good. He's heading down that way, sort of. We stand ready for action. Just keep recruiting some more of these white lions. Pick up two a turn. Should be okay. These guys are headed that way. This guy's just sitting out there. Ah, oh, man, I don't even know if this city is worth protecting. Concerns. Let's keep uh, recruiting these here too. Let's do a full stack of these uh, sisters of Avalorn and use them as support for Beatrice's army, and we should be able to absolutely crush any chaos army that shows up. Yeah, Lionese got. Smashed. Just concerned if these guys head to there. It could be a bit of an issue, but. I'm waiting for the Phoenix King. All right. Um. Hmm. Ah, fuck. I, I don't even know if it's worth protecting over here. But we can't just let this army sit here, that's the problem. Let's move you to there. Put her in ambush and see if we can hide from them and then maybe they will... They will make the attack, I don't know. I mean, obviously we're not going to be able to hold it. Against that force, we 
should be able to take them down in the uh, the following fight. Let's get this stuff going. Yeah, let's Can move I offer it to there. And we should be able to make the attack next turn. Tyrion, heir of Anarion. Get you in here. The winds hearken to me. I refuse. Oh, Malekith is back you already, eh? Just keep gathering some. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, that is not what I meant to do. Damn it, that was such a Standing waste. By. Wanted the uh, the influence. Standing by. Smash it to ruins. Failure, what eh? do you require? That was a bad a turn for influence. Uh, let's go increase trade, I guess. Our traditions give me strength. A true Asur. Uh, might as well put you on a speed. Guardian of hmm. the Phoenix Crown. No. Speak. Hmm. I want to get this guy replenishment. I will do my duty. We'll move him down to here for now, and then we'll we'll make our way up the coast, and then Freya's army. I'm just wondering what the quickest way to get her over here would be. Just take a ton of attrition coming this way. I think this is the way we're gonna bring her, though. I serve the Phoenix King. You have my attention. It's actually sent Forward you around this way. Loyal to a fault. All right, good stuff. Yeah, when we ah oh, fuck me, one, two, three, four. Oh, fuck, cool. it's gonna take it forever to get over there. How is the public order? That built. The order of minus four. Just keep an eye on this. We might have to put uh, put that lord there, Vandal, to uh, to help with the public order. Shouldn't be too much of a problem though. Doesn't look like there's going to be a lot to do this turn. What do you seek? A worthy ally. Um. Hmm. And actually, doesn't really matter. I don't think he's going to end up fighting anyone. Behold, elven beauty. It's getting to the point the where we should be able to get these guys out of here soon. Once we get this to level five, can send them somewhere else. Can I offer assistance? Defender, I will continue soon. All right, yeah, I think we're almost ready to, to hit the end turn here. Ready for orders. Yeah. I mean, if they hit our allies, that's not too much of an issue. We'll possibly come back and take Lionese now as well. That would be nice. The people are rested. Alright, is there anywhere else we can build? Black Flood. Cool. Very nice. And Deadwood. Ever loyal. 
Yeah, hopefully by these by the time these are recruited, we'll be it's able to pain. we'll have no. that um Denied. that noble back will be healed. Command. I'm just concerned that we're, we're giving the dark elves time to build up again. Holy hell, how is the public order corruption minus three? Eight turns before growth, growth point. Protects me. You have use of my power. Mage of the White. All right, cool. The end turn. All right, let's see what happens here. The final bit of the Graham Leon's Bride of Cain. All right, am I to die in Cain's service? That matters not, interrupted Hellebron. What else, sorceress? The Witch King will burn and be no more, and the Druki with him. And you, Queen of Hangs, you will be Bride of Cain no longer. You will become Corn's mistress. It laughed, and the motion made the last of its flesh loosen and slip from the bone. The skull chattered for a moment before Hellebron shrieked in anger and flung it against the side of the cauldron where it shattered. She turned back to Tolaris. Nonsense, she snapped. A fantasy of Marathi's design. Tolaris did not reply. He remembered the Drakrite he had killed in the streets. Her eyes had shone with the light of fanaticism, the fervor of a true believer. The skull's last words haunted him. Could Hellebron really fall to the ruinous, ruinous powers? Could her lust for murder be turned to darker purposes? He tried to dismiss the thought. The Rana Dandra, Hellbrand spat dismissively. Ancient legend and nothing more. Come, Tolaris, have been idle too long. It is time that these barbarians discovered the true majesty of the god of murder. She turned back to him, and in her eyes was the same look as the Dracarite. It was familiar and welcome, and filled Tolaris with a potent mix of emotions. But beneath the look was something else. Something he had never seen in her before. It looked like disdain, and it made him want to prove himself, to show her that he was not weak. He gripped the first drag tightly and swung it in a figure of eight. Yes, my queen, he growled. Let us get you some clothes and a weapon, and we will take back our city. All right. So... That was pretty good, I guess. I mean, violent as hell, but uh, not bad. And um, it's a nice little introduction to Siege of Nagarond and Bride of Cain before getting into the uh, the heart of the story, I guess, with uh, with Deathblade. And then uh, the second book is the uh, the Curse of Cain. But But yeah, so Deathblade, A Tale of Malice, Darkblade by C.L. Werner. Uh, we'll probably start that next episode. Uh, just because I... I feel like this is a good place to uh, to stop with the... Uh, or, or to just pause the lore for a bit. I'm not sure how much longer this end turn is going to go on for. But I mean, I don't know. The way this episode is shaping up, it looks like probably go through another end turn before uh, before we finish the episode. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see what happens here. But, uh, where these chaos armies end up. But yeah, I, I'm not sure. I, I like the way that they introduce the mechanic, the, the way the mechanic works for this, and I don't know. I mean, Legend of Total War talked about it in his Dark Elf campaign, where basically, I guess the way that it works is the everything hinges on the Warriors of Chaos. The Warriors of Chaos fall below a certain number of armies, I think it's three, then it just triggers another chaos invasion so if you defeat all of these armies servants of chaos and the um, 
the other ones, I forget what they're called. Um, you defeat all these armies, and then Archeons, the, the Warriors of Chaos, fall below that threshold, then it just triggers the rebellion again, and you're almost being punished for 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 your play like you you've defeated these armies and then they end up showing up again I don't know if I explained that the best but um but yeah like like you're almost being punished for 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 good play um in, in a certain sense which I kind of kind of agree with him that it is a little bit weird the way the mechanic works but I, I think the way you have to do it is uh, to get rid of the, so that you don't get any more chaos invasions, is you need to eliminate all of the warriors of chaos, the, the final armies, all in the same turn, and then um, and then you're good, and then there there, there will be no more uh, no more chaos incursions. All right, so. We've drawn them over here, but they didn't fucking land, which is really, really annoying. Princess and I don't even know if we'll be, a promising lieutenant. if we'll have the edge on them in uh, auto resolve situation. But I am gonna give it a try. The other thing that really annoys me too is this, this fucking situation. We're within range of the citadel. We should be getting the the garrison here in this uh, in this fight. But we won't. Which is really annoying. All right, so the odds are actually in our favor. We're good. Yeah, we lost a couple sword masters. Decent experience too. We don't need it's a little bit annoying, the but at least we wiped out that army. So it's not the end of the world. Just use the global recruitment to get those guys back. Oh fuck me! Three turns. Ugh. I really don't want to sit here for three turns. I right, fuck it. We'll just go with white lions for the time being. Because she, she needs to get on the move. She needs to move back this way. I don't know what's going to where these guys are going to land. Time is of the essence. Hmm. For the Phoenix King. Put you on. Yeah. I want to get her over there. If prefer to um, protect this settlement if we can. I don't think he can quite reach this one. And then if we can combine the these two armies. What would you have of me? We should be able to uh, to take them Princess. on. Actually tempted to Beyond your comprehension. Bastone. Damn, it's all the way back in Paravon. Yeah, I was just thinking to move uh, move this army where we can recruit the, the Swordmasters. But it's a little bit too far off. Your word? And the global. Global is all used up at the moment. I'm not sure if we're going to move him. Just seems... Seems okay that we can keep her here. Keep her here for the time being. Just to protect this settlement because... I mean, basically this one settlement is protecting everything in behind it. In behind here. So, got some, some public order issues back here though. Alright, looks good. A little annoyed that we lost those sword masters, but the skill is oh well. All 
All right, last point for her. How is this her last point? Level 40. A mighty warrior. Favorable winds, movable force. We do darken the skies, I guess. Oh, we loaded up a lot of these points. And these ones. It's crazy, we didn't give her any of her, her personal skills, really. It's all about the army. Which is fine. I mean, they're pretty formidable on, on the dragons anyway. Your instructions. Well, maybe we will get a fight here this episode. Loyal to a fault. Um, actually, let's give you some points into scouting. Princess. We'll do that fight in a minute. Let's see what else Guardian we got going on over Phoenix here Grand. first. Wolfenstein. Speed probably would be helpful since he's on, on foot. So we're just basically using him in the front lines. This one will be a little bit safer to build first. It's got public order there. Ready. Yeah, these guys are recruiting like crazy. Onward then. Moving you through here. Probably have to start putting her in a camp. And just be careful not to get her um, Prince. not to get her killed out there. there will be oh for fuck's sake, you useless. Useless. I await your command. Smash it to ruin. There we go, good job. Isn't there another guy up here? Yeah, there he is. Our traditions give me strength. Oh, is Speak he like on top of Malkit there? It looks like he's. Oh my gosh, that looks ridiculous. Destruction. Yeah, little little wonky there, but whatever. I am ready. Um, there we go. I want to give you that. Ready to serve. Three more turns. Get Tyrion back into action. Show oh. the way. It's gonna give uh, old Malekith time to get back to full strength. How big is this army? Prince of Though it's only a matter of time till we finish these guys off, so no need to fret. We'll just move you to there. Should the be road. within range to attack next turn. Preparing camp. I think so anyway. I serve the Phoenix King. It's not taking too much damage up here. I mean it's taking a little bit of attrition. Nothing too serious. Princess of the Alright. Let's go a little siege in. And then that'll free this army up. We can bring her over here as well, probably. And just keep these four armies together. I mean, Their deaths are necessary. It's kind of ridiculous the balance of power is so close. Seeing as we're going to absolutely crush them here. In a fight like this, we should be able to do it without taking any casualties, but...
So we'll try not to be sloppy here and see if we can. I guess it doesn't really matter though because even if you do take a couple of casualties, we're just going to get replenishment anyway. So this is not really a big deal. Yeah, I will be very, very happy to uh, finally be done with these Dark Elves. I've been fighting them since the beginning of the campaign. I guess that's pretty normal for the Dark or for the High Elves for a High Elf campaign. So we'll just attack from this corner here, take up the two towers, Eagle claw. and then move forward with our archers. Actually, let's I guess off to the side for now. Understood. Loyal. Orders received. Eagle Claw. It will be done. Stand up front. Stand up to the side there. I am ready. Eagle Claw. Alright, let's get those towers down. Speed this along a little bit. Yeah, so they're actually targeting the, uh, the bolt thrower here. They've lost a couple of guys. Yeah, definitely lost a couple of guys. Yeah, so much for uh, no casualties. Alright. Let's uh, take out some of these ranged units with our ranged units. Let's get the archers up here. It's actually pretty effective hitting these guys on the uh, on the walls like this. on fire will I guess fine. we advance excellent don't see any more dark shards I think it's just these guys on the walls here Are we within range of them Bring you guys over to here. Whoa. Fuck yeah, th this map, there's definitely not enough room. This fucking, like, right pinned right against the wall when you come. The white line is, like, right there. It's ridiculous. Target those Corsairs. We're gonna take down those ranged units first. Guys, might as well shoot these Corsairs. Yeah, these guys are gonna target our our Sea Guard when they come over here. We might as well come have some fun too. See if we can pick off this Death Hag.
guys have ammo still, yeah. Let's actually target them too. Freaking love the archers. So, why they're so damn effective in situations like this. Shouldn't take much longer. Just let them pick their own targets. We've got plenty of ammo here for this. That was a waste of a breath attack. Surely they're gonna get the army loss penalty here soon. So you can pick her off. There we go, now they're... I was gonna say their morale is dropping, but this one... Morale doesn't... Just want to drop. These guys are coming back, eh? It's ridiculous. There we go. Alright, easy game, easy life. As Elledge says. Alright, good stuff. Managed to lose eight there. I think those were probably all in the bolt thrower. I'm not sure. I might have lost a couple of archers at some point. Well, it looks like Seaguard might have lost a unit or two. I don't know. Well, we've got this province under our control again. And there's not a lot of territory left that the Dark Elves hold. A triumph for Ulfuan. Take whatever you can. Uh, fuck My it. Who not occupy? Probably shouldn't have done that. Probably should have just occupied there, actually. <laughs> it's gonna mess up public order. Repair that, repair that. Yeah, definitely wasn't worth it to, uh, to loot it there. Oh well. Get this going. Might have to leave her sitting here for a turn or two, just to get public order a little bit under control. Let's go increase trade. So that helps out our income a little bit. Ah, shoot. That's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, it's a little bit of a quieter episode here so far. Hopefully we can eliminate this army next turn. And in a couple turns we can move on. The main force is up here. Which is fine. I mean... If we can sweep through and take this stuff while they're just sitting here, and then probably try and use Mariel and Tyrion together to, to take on, on this force. So by the time she gets over here, uh, this army is going to be pretty much completely built up. I guess they're probably using the global recruitment. I don't know. Oh, maybe not. 
that they have over here for recruitment. Yeah, they can executioners, dread knights, black arc corsairs. Shelves, shades. Doesn't look like they can, um, unless they've got it over here. It doesn't look like they can recruit the black guard though, from over here. But yeah, maybe they're using the, the global recruitment in combination. With that, I'm not sure. Anyway, what else we got left to do? Anything to build? Chill Road. Sure, we can build that up. Get that going. All right, that's good. A mighty Sounds warrior. A true Asur. Uh, what are we gonna give you? Yeah, fuck, why not? Shit, how do we... Don't want that, there we go. There we go, got rid of it. Alright, yeah, things are looking pretty good. We might actually... Chaos showing up... Might actually give us the opportunity to... Um, Gain some new territory from what they raise. Princess of the Asun. All right, I think. Loyal to a fault. By the White Tower. Yeah, I think we're ready to end the turn here. There's not much to do at the moment. answers to me. All right, what do we want to do for commandment? I think probably just go with growth for now. What do you require? Mage of Ulfwan. All right. Hit the entered. Oh, son of a bitch. No, I forgot something. True son of Ulfwan. Damn it to hell. D is that... That's as far as I moved him? That's unfortunate. Ah, uh, yeah. It's gonna take an extra turns... Uh, an extra turns uh, attrition out there. So, yeah, obviously that's not good. These dwarves taking their sweet ass time with their turn. Just gonna speed up this end turn. We'll, we'll start the. Uh, whoops. Uh, we'll, we'll start the next book in the series, uh, the Deathblade, uh, during next episode. Just feel like um, it's a good place to. Well, we'll just start fresh with um, with the lore with the new book. During the uh, d during a new episode, so yeah, things are looking good, nice and quiet, peaceful for the most part. We've got the chaos rebellion somewhat under control. Puppets of Chaos, Servants of Chaos. Yeah, I wonder what... Oh, really? You guys are going to see just out there, eh? Alright, that's perfect. I, I think we should be able to win that without too much trouble, actually. Oh, wounded one of our agents. Serve the king. Yeah, I might as well pick Saving this up while we're out here. Of 
Cool. Only lasts for ten turns, so. Prince. Across the ways. Yeah, this army is gonna be depleted as hell by the time they get over here. Let's have you just go to head. Yeah, we should be safe to settle there and take a few turns to uh, to get this army replenished. Probably. Hmm. Just wondering if we should have like a couple bolt throwers in this army or not, but. Uh, just so that he can siege right away a promising or even game. like a, a star dragon but i guess once he gets on his sun dragon level 16 he'll be able to siege right away anyway not sure where these guys are headed just floating around out there wandering around and this guy could be heading down this way. Just fill this stack with the white lions for now. Just get extra troops in the field. And I want you. Where are you going? Where the fuck did you come from? Didn't we just. Oh, we got rid of that guy. Apparently not. Or maybe, maybe lost track of him, I guess. Actually. We are ill at ease. So let's go with growth here. Yeah, I'm not sure if we're gonna move her up there. Where to? Should ah, uh, son of a bitch, it's just gonna be out of range for that attack. The goddess forbids it. I refuse. Two more turns. Two more turns. Wonder when our noble is gonna be back as well. Odin. When Odin will be back. Anyway, let's uh let's sally out here and get rid of this chaos army. Defender of the Asir. If you win it. Stance. By the gods. Really, eh? Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. All right, well let's let's give it a shot. Give it a go. See what happens here. Hell cannons could do a bit of damage to us, so we'll have to be careful with those. But uh, I am really excited to see this many sisters of Avalon in action all at once. I don't even think. I mean, maybe we should have. Are we doing it? Oh, I guess we are doing the attack with her. I thought we were doing the attack with the uh, with the garrison troops. But anyway. But yeah, I don't even think that these guys will be able to get near them before they get fucking smashed by these arrows. I don't know. We'll see. See if they have, if they're quick enough to get into our ranks. I mean, if they do get into our ranks, so obviously they're going to cause quite a bit of problems. I feel like we should be able to. Oh, and this is a beautiful map for us as well. I think what we'll do, just uh, corner camp it, play archer defense. They might not come at us though because of the uh, because of the, the hell cannons. So we'll have to wait and see what they do. That is not. So I'll have to be good enough.
Guess we'll yes. lock that. Yeah, we'll keep you out up front. Just gonna move you guys back here for now. A little bit. While we get uh, set up with the rest of these guys. Lined up up front. Illyrian archers. Yes. Battle calls. Have you maybe Noble. deal with some of their, uh, their ranged As units? Following orders. Acknowledged. And these archers. For duty. Put you guys over here, I guess. Alright, it's gonna be very interesting. Looks like they're, uh. Yeah, Eagles got the attention of the Hell Cannons, which is exactly what we want. Um, I guess we can actually send the Eagle to deal with the Hell Cannons, though I don't know if the Eagle is gonna be up to that task or not. Guys around there. Loyal. You guys back. Some shots in there. Yes. You guys target Come them, on. please. Loyal. Asha, Kill them. Asha, advance. Onward. Acknowledge. My power is yours. Awaiting orders. Forward. Guys, just keep on doing your thing. Ready. Duty call. Yeah, those chosen could be a big fucking problem. You guys out here. Put you back in here. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. How are you guys doing again? Seems to be doing okay there. Fucked up with those arch uh, those Illyrian Reavers there. Silver Helms, you guys are gonna have to help out here. Formation is kind of a bit of a mess, but oh well. Let's see if we can take down this dragon or the the giant. Yeah, let her deal with those. It's a matter of whether we can hold the line long enough to uh, to deal the damage. Yeah, with the archers, which seems to be working so far. Finish this one off now, please. Yeah, definitely that armor piercing. Very, very helpful. Let's bring you guys over support here in case this, uh. You guys can get in there. Want you guys to shoot there. Let's keep harassing them. Might have been a bad idea bringing this guy over here. Let's just hope they enough firepower to take them down before they get into our ranks. Come on. Keep shooting. Keep shooting. 
There we go. Very nice. Very, very nice. Yeah, this is nice. My power is yours. All right, let's line Forward. back up properly. For order. All right, yeah, that went really well, I think. Where are those silver helms? Silver so you guys can run silver some of these guys down. Yes. My power is yours. Yeah, these are some fucking deadly, deadly archers. Uh, my new favorite unit. Why isn't this battle over yet? Who who hasn't broken yet on their side? We take quite a bit of friendly fire here, though. This poor Silverhelms. Oh well. Uh, you guys might as well run some of these troops down too, so you can catch these trolls. Doubt you'll be able to kill them, but. Just this hell cannon? I guess it's just the hell cannon here that hasn't broken. Okay, there we go. Let's see if we can run some of them down with the silver helms before we uh, before we call it quits here. want to weaken this army as much as possible. Should be able to actually auto-resolve follow-up battle, hopefully, anyway. Alright, sweet. Didn't lose any of the sisters, that's nice. And they took a ton of damage there. But would have been would have been a tough fight if we didn't have the uh, the garrison there to hold the front line. But even yeah, even a couple of troops. So you really need to hold the line. When you're dealing out so much damage with the ranged units. Glory to the Kadai. Kills pretty evenly dispersed though. Silver Homes 144. Their deaths are necessary. This will take the uh, the ransom. A just reward. Good stuff. And let's see of the kind of odds this gives us. Rally to me, ah. Asa. I didn't lose anyway. Oh wait, maybe we did. Lost some of the garrison. Oh, the well. captain. Ransom the them again. All right, cool. That uh, that's gonna do Your it request? for the episode today, guys. Uh, a little bit of a slower-paced one, but what can you do? Got things more or less in hand. Uh, this I army we might bring her. I, fuck, I don't know where this guy is gonna land. We'll just try and fend coast here probably bring bring her back this way and figure out um, where we're gonna if we can strike back against them and we'll keep moving towards taking this settlement we're gonna have to wait one more turn he can't quite reach it just out of range which is unfortunate tarion has got two more turns before he's back in action and we'll continue moving through the north here and see if we can pick off these armies one at a time and yeah just move towards finishing off the dark elves and then i guess we'll, we'll invade norska I, I mean it seems like the logical place to go i mean 
since we're going to be up here anyway. Um, actually, I just wanted to check something quick. What is the... Yeah, the frozen is suitable climate for for us anyway. So I guess, um, yeah, this, this climate up here will be all right for us to take control of. I guess it's considered... Uh, Ah, it doesn't tell you. Wait, no, it does. Oh, it's, uh... Fucking hell. Uninhabitable. Okay, well, it'll take us a while to lock all this down, but anyway, we'll we'll figure it out as we go along. It shouldn't be too too difficult with all these armies. And we might even actually be able to bring bring some of these these forces up to help with that. Just to move it along a little bit quicker. And then get Uhtred over here. Set up shop over here on this side. And start looking uh, towards taking some territory in the desert, I guess. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Episode number 22 will be next. Have yourselves a great day. I'll see you next time.